Hi, I'm Rotary Swing Instructor Clay Ballard, otherwise known as the Lag Doctor, and I was giving a lesson yesterday to a student and he was really struggling with flipping the club. This is something that I see a lot of players do, and it really has devastating effects on your game. So when you flip the club, and I mean by that you're cupping the left wrist, so you can see how his left wrist is broken down here, and he's starting to get a chicken wing action, as it's called with his left arm, and when that when that happens what you're doing is you're adding loft to this club face so you're turning essentially a seven iron into a nine iron or a five iron into a seven iron um, you're just adding a lot of loft to the face so even if you're swinging with good club head speed you're still going to lose a lot of distance you're also losing speed itself so as you're swinging down if you start to push with this right hand and flip that club through impact you can see that he's losing lag here his club head is not trailing behind as it should be and that's going to cost him a lot of speed so he's losing speed by losing lag and he's losing distance by losing loft by cupping the left wrist and flipping through impact so we worked on a couple of things with the the five minutes to the perfect release drill that's on the site great drill that will walk you through step by step on how to get the proper release and to de-loft that club you can see here as we started to work on these drills with just the left hand it's already getting much better lag here you can see this club is really lagging behind and then as he comes down closer to impact one thing that he wants to concentrate on here is feeling as though the the logo of his glove would be facing straight down toward the ground and you can see that that's de-lofting this club face and closing this club face now there's two things that every PGA Tour player has in common one, they all have forward shaft lean at impact for every single stock shot. And I've measured hundreds of PGA Tour swings, and they all have forward sh shaft lean. Even with the driver, they have a couple degrees of forward shaft lean usually, except for specialty shots. So if you're trying to hit it really high, they may get uh, the club head level. Um, but for all stock shots, you're going to have forward shaft lean. And the other thing is that they're all going to have lag. They all have good lag and good forward shaft lean. You can't say that there's any two other things that they really have in common. You'll see just about every type of swing on the PGA Tour, but those two things are a must if you're talking about playing great golf. So he worked on keeping this logo down toward the ground, and then the second piece we worked on here is releasing this club so that wrist is rotating to the left as he's coming through impact. You can see it impact here, great position with the left wrist, left wrist nice and bowed. This is a bit exaggerated, but that's what we're looking for at first. And he went ahead and released that left hand, and you can see in the finish that this stayed nice and flat as opposed to the same position as he came through before where this left wrist really broke down. He really flipped the club and added loft. So let me show you a before and after real quickly. Okay, so here you can see on the left was his before swing, left wrist is really cupped and broken down, and then here on the right is his after swing, the left wrist is staying nice and flat, and look at this great extension he's getting past impact and as the club works through to the finish. So arms are really extended and this left wrist is working in a much better position. Okay, so now I'm going to give you a free preview of the full five minutes to the perfect release video. Now this video is usually only available to premium members of the site, but if you click the link in the description below and you sign up for a free pre or free Rotary Swing membership, you're going to get to watch that entire video at no cost. It only takes a couple seconds to do and it's going to walk you through a step-by-step -step process of exactly how to get great extension as you see George getting here on the right and get rid of this chicken wing and the flip with your left hand that you may have been battling for years. So take advantage of this free video, follow the step-by-step -step process, and I look forward to helping you more with your game in the future. In the lose the right hand drill, I started talking about how you get a speedy release of the golf club without you having to put any effort into it whatsoever. For a lot of golfers, releasing the club is a foreign concept. They've never actually released the club. They use their body. And then the problem with that is if your body keeps turning through impact, the club head and your body have to move at a more relative constant speed together versus letting my body stop and the club can move very fast and my body doesn't have to do anything. 
In fact, the club can actually release faster. As my body slows down, I transmit energy up the chain into the club. So learning how to release the club and let that right hand come off is really important. But obviously, we don't play golf left-handed, although I have a lot of students who ask me if they can after they work through these drills that you're about to learn now. What I'm going to do is work through the sequence of how to learn to release the club very, very slowly until you start building the proper movements in there. So here's what I do with all my students. The first thing when they're learning how to release this left hand is we take the right hand completely out of the equation. If you're someone who pushes really hard from the right side or flips that right hand, this is critical. You do not skip this step. You want to start learning how to release the club properly to get into a proper impact position. So at first what I do is just make sure they can get into a perfect impact position with their left hand only. Then we'll typically take some variables out of the swing. So I will let them go ahead and stay into their left uh, side's impact position because these are going to be really short swings. We're not going to have a lot of time to shift over. So preset ourselves in our left side. Then what I'm going to have them do is go back and start coming down and stopping at impact. Now, obviously, this is a hard floor, so the club can't stick in the ground. But I generally will kind of have them stick the club in the ground, try and stop right at impact. So these shots are obviously going to be five-yard shots. They're not going to go anywhere. What I'm checking to see is if they can keep that left wrist flat and get into a proper impact alignment with the left side. Once they can do that, start working on releasing it. Now what I'm doing is I'm training the left hand to rotate and this is how you release the club. You don't release the club like this. That's what most golfers do. Technically, that is a release, but it's not going to go in the right way because what that's going to do is add loft to the club through impact. And now we're trying to time a flip. You want to think of the release being rotation. There's a lot of force, a lot of speed, a lot of momentum in that club. You have to release that energy somehow, somewhere. And you basically have three options. You can flip it. You can turn your body, or you can just let it release with the left hand. One's way more efficient than the other, and one allows us to trap the ball and hit the ball in a proper trajectory with a lot of distance. The other one is going to flip it up to the sky, and this one requires a tremendous amount of physical effort, puts a lot of stress on your spine, on your hip, totally unnecessary, and it's not nearly as fast as me just doing this. So why wouldn't you just go for the most efficient way of learning how to release the left hand? So once they can get into proper impact position, we start working on rotation. So from this angle, what you'll see is that my left wrist is still in that arched position I had at impact, and I'm just turning it over. This is important to learn where this release happens or it feels like it happens in the downswing. The target for your left hand in this release is the back of your left thigh, and then what it feels like at that point, it just starts turning over. Now obviously your wrist is actually gradually rotating throughout the entire downswing. But during the release where we want that snap of speed, it's going to feel like your hand stops at your thigh and turns over. It's not what happens at all. But for most golfers, they need to feel that because they'll either A, move their hand too far forward and now my logo of my gloves facing on the target line, it hasn't released. I've, held, I've added loft. I want to take loft off the whole time in the downswing. And so I've got to feel that my hand stops here and just turns over. Now, in reality, because the club is moving and pulling my hands with a lot of centrifugal force, my hands are actually going to release out here. But to my feeling is that I'm releasing it more at my thigh in order to get the club to release properly. And also, when you're hitting short shots, it has to feel like it releases here because your hands aren't going to end up way out here. You don't want to be doing this drill like this. It's not the point of it. It's to get here and release and turn that club face over. So now what I'm going to check is that the wrist is still flat, and to many it will feel just flipped, exaggeratedly flipped over. You won't do that when you keep your right hand on. But that's okay if you're used to scooping it to have it feeling like the logo of your glove faces the ground. In an ideal world, it's basically going to face straight back behind you. The toe is going to be in an up position or slightly shut, which is perfectly okay. We just don't want it cupped. Once you can do that correctly, what we're going to do is start adding the right hand back in, but we're going to let it come off the club. So we've got two drills so far. Start out, left hand only, stick it in the ground. Just hit these little tiny dribblers. Just make sure your impact alignments are correct. Next piece, rotate and release. Ball's going to go a little bit further, just working on the release. Now what we're going to do... Now it's time to take action. Don't let another year pass and still be frustrated with your golf game. This is your year to beat all of your friends. Go to the description below and click the link to sign up for your free membership. 
It will never cost you a dime, and you'll receive over two and a half hours of detailed, eye-opening video lessons. Plus, you will be able to see the remainder of this video only available if you click the link on this particular video. Be the first of your friends to join our 40,000 plus free members. We look forward to having you on our team.